Good morning, or whatever time it is, wherever you are. Thanks for being here. Uh, just got through mowing the lawn. Took a lot out of me, but I got more to do. So I've got my little uh, powered Ryobi screwdriver. We're gonna see how well this works today. Got a nice little kit of uh, screwdrivers and bits and whatnot. It's kind of cool. And I have a wire wheel. I have a grinder over here, which is also a Ryobi, <clears throat> but it's about 25, if not 30 years old, thereabouts. We're going to look at the serial number, and I'm going to have you help me figure out um, how old it is by its serial number. Uh, it's a grinding wheel that has two uh, abrasive wheels on it. I'm going to take one of the abrasive wheels off, put the wire wheel on, because I use a, a wire wheel... Um, probably more than I thought, and I do have a wire wheel around here somewhere, but I, I normally can't find it, and I gotta put it into a drill, and it's just a lot of, a lot of hassle. So today, I'm gonna put this on. I've got a maximum RPM of 4,500. That should be fine for that, um, grinding wheel. Let's get a little closer to the grinding, grinding wheel. I'm tired, folks. I'm really tired. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. There's the bench grinder. Six inch thin line. Look at this. I had forgotten I did this. I don't know how many years ago now. Oh, it doesn't look like I can get the thing off there there look 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 what does it say I had totally forgotten it was a Ryobi <laughs> this was before they went to the Ryobi green wow silver and red Look how dirty everything else is and how nice and clean Ryobi stayed. I think, I think I will cover that up again. I don't know why I did that originally, but I did. Let's keep it clean. Let's keep the, la the, na the name underneath clean. Okay, there's the serial number. Copy that down. Somebody, please, tell me how old this thing is. And then there's a, uh, that's the part number, just in case. I think they still call it that. I'm gonna take the power driver thingy. Um, I, I may have done a review on this in the past. Oh, can't really see it, huh? May have done a review on that. I'll leave a link if I did. Um, I, I don't know how strong this thing really is. Let's put a bit on there. It's pretty simple. It just goes in there. You press the back button and it starts to unscrew. Let's take this thing off. It's kind of nice that it comes with a... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it, it wants to torque, but it just can't undo it. Clearly... Uh, n not super duper heavy duty. This is probably more for stuff around the house. Let's take this guy off of here. Oh. Hmm. Has nuts and washers. Very interesting. Oh, cut. Wow, that's back when uh, Ryobi made things kind of heavy duty. The... That's a pretty thick piece of steel. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what gauge, but um, heavy duty. All right, how do I get that off? Hmm, I wonder. It does, fantastic. Okay, now all I gotta do is figure out how do I, how do I keep that thing from turning? I think it's a reverse thread. 
I do believe it is. So if this is a regular thread and it seems to be going this way, this one seems to be going that way. Yeah, this is a reverse thread. So it is not lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. It's going to be righty, loosey, lefty, tighty. Can you see that? It's the original Ryobi wheel, even. Gonna use a nice 12 inch crescent wrench. That's what I'm gonna do. And it's righty loosey. Right? Is that what I said? So, what I would normally think of, it's gonna be that way. Now, all I gotta do is figure out how to keep the wheel from turning. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. Okay, this is probably not the right way to do it. Like I said, oh, I got it. Okay, that seemed to work. Uh. All right, let's get the... Uh, wheel off of there. Am I doing something wrong here, folks? Yeah, when you don't have a hammer, use something else as a hammer. I've been getting a bunch of texts. Evidently, uh, there's some power outages at my remote office. Uh, I had some editing that I was doing there. I certainly hope the uh, battery backups held. Okay, there you go. Right on, look at that. Okay, let's let's get the uh, wire wheel. Oopsie. Let's get, uh, how do we get that out of there? Nothing but the best scissors, right? Oh my gosh. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, it's a fine wire wheel. Kind of like it. I wonder if I need to put these things on there. Probably should, huh? Ooh, spindle, spindle adapter. Very nice. Oh, you know what? Man, that's pokey. I'm going out of my mind. Oh. There you go. That's gonna go, oh, you know what? Uh, I think I have a problem here, Rampart. Yeah, I do have to take the spindle out. Oh, there you go. Spindle adapter comes out. And that goes in there that way. Okay, that should work. Okay, lefty tighty. Oh no! I think what I'm gonna do is Take that out. That'll go that far. I will put this spacer back in. Rather than... Yeah. And then I'll do that. And then... Will that work? Oh, I could go this way with it. Hmm, maybe I'll do that. Okay. Won't hurt, right? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Oh, wait a minute, not on this guy. Um, okay, let's plug her in. I do like that it has a light. <sighs> Pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna stand out of the way. I'm gonna stand way back and I'm gonna flip it on. Here we go. That just does not seem very safe. At least it didn't come flying off. I need to take up all that space right there and that ain't gonna cut it. 
What do you recommend? How do I fill that space, guys? Leave a comment down below. See you next time.